Hey guys, what's going on today? We're going to talk about A-frames. This is an A-frame that a friend built for me. Um, it's really solid, very simple design um, that uses a bubble level. There are other designs. I've had ones in the past that use uh, pendulums, which are good for, <clears throat> they're even more low tech. You can make them out of literally anything, but this one requires the bubble level, of course. Um, the first thing I want to say is uh, why you'd use an A-frame. I'm using it right now because I have this space uh, on my property here that um, Forest Garden's back there, and this is just an open lawn area, but I notice it gets really great sun, so um, I figure it probably would be uh, a good place for growing like annual crops, um, and so I want to find out what the contour lines are. I want to find like an equal level line moving across the property so that when the water when the rainwater um, hits the lawn instead of running off or running along a non-contour line, which would like allow the rainwater to wash off, it's actually just going to soak in to the, the beds that I make uh, and be able to be used by the crops. So we're going to find some straight, completely level lines across the property, which will probably look, actually they won't be straight, they, they'll be level, but they won't be straight, and it'll probably look like curves because this is all curving downhill right here. So we're using the A-frame for that, and like I said, this is the bubble level. Um, and the big thing that I want people to know is sometimes people, even people who are experienced in this area will make a big mistake. Um, and that mistake is basically thinking that if they build an A-frame and they create a cross beam and they stick a level on it, as long as that level shows, um, you know, and they'll usually adjust the bar here, as long as that level shows perfect center, I'm trying to get it just right so you can see, um, then that means the point between the legs is, is a perfectly level uh, surface. And that's not the case um, unless, okay, I'm going to stick my feet down here as a guide and I'm going to flip this all the way around. So I'm flipping it around and I'm checking it at the exact same two points. And this one is perfectly level, but in other cases, um, if the cross beam is not set up correctly, you're going to see that it's level on one side, and then when you flip it around the other way, it's going to be not level anymore. So you have to play with um, the cross beam here to make sure that it's level on both sides. Um, and if there's already, if you already have one that's uneven, um, you could you could still use it. But let's say like this was an uneven cross beam and it would, would show level on one side and you flip it around and it, it's not level on the other side. You could still use it, but instead of the motion typically when you use an A-frame is like pivoting and finding a level and then pivoting again. Instead of doing that, you literally would, because I mean when you flip it, you would be going, it'd be not level anymore, right? So um, what you have to do is find level if you're, a frame this is only if your a-frame is not calibrated correctly um, you find level and then you just you'd have to mark that spot and move it and find level again and that should be a um, an exact level um, in that case 